Hello everyone and a very happy spring to you. I'm starting this video out quite simply by resetting my altar table. Where I live, the winter was mild and spring is already slowly working from the ground up. But before I can truly transition into the new season, I wanted to clear away any stagnant energy left behind from the winter. It's interesting, we sometimes associate a word like magic with something fanciful or downright dangerous, but even the everyday act of spring cleaning is magical. Furthermore, you'll notice I keep a variety of tools and trinkets on my table. Crystals, candles, flowers, and herbs. I have a variety of thrift and antique stores in my town, and have actually found nearly all of my crystals there, namely this extravagant amethyst cathedral, and many other little bits and pieces. Other pieces, like the crystal ball or this bowling, were actually a gift from my brother, but almost everything else was thrifted nearby. But some of my most precious pieces, like this shell, or this piece of stone, or even this flat stone I found in my grandma's garden or on a nature walk. This beautiful tea light holder I thrifted nearby, I couldn't believe the stunning colors. And then all of my basic things like candles, candle holders, even a pestle and mortar I've been able to thrift. Um, it's quite easy, at least in my area, to walk into a store and find candles that no one has lit yet. I'd like to add here that I set a boundary between my material and spiritual worlds. I have felt the embrace of something so much bigger than me, even when I've had nothing but the clothes on my back. I am simply a magpie who enjoys collecting beautiful things that are well-crafted and of natural origin. And I thought you guys would enjoy a glimpse of how I set up my altar for spring. With all of that being said, I don't need any of these things to experience the bounty of nature. The thrill of a thunderstorm, the sense of awe as I crest a mountaintop, the feeling of wonder at the arrival of the first bluebell, and most especially the blooming of the wisteria, in which I potently feel like everything's going to be alright after all. Speaking of wisteria, I ventured out to the woods to find that I was a little bit early in time for it to bloom, which means next week I have a very special surprise for you guys. So for now, I guess we will have to wait patiently together for the blooming of the wisteria. And in the meantime, I will close the video out with a view of the dress I've been working on. Speaking of things coming into bloom.
I'm so excited. It was all perfectly fitting, quite literally, but I finished this dress on the day of the spring equinox and I didn't include finished clips in this video because I want to wait and show you a hopefully extravagant reveal later, but I hope you enjoy what you've seen so far.